so now i am going to discuss about the third case frequency response of linear phase fir filter when h of n is anti symmetric when n is odd so we know the frequency response of h of n h of omega is equal to n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 h of n e power minus g omega n so first we have to split this into two summations or three summations depending upon the value of n if n is odd as already we discussed we can split this summation into three terms and the given is anti symmetric okay so anti symmetric condition is h of n is equals to minus h of n minus 1 minus n and n is odd if n is odd i will have three split terms so this h of omega is divided into n is equal 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of n e power minus g omega n and h of n minus 1 by 2 into e power minus g omega n minus 1 by 2 plus summation n is equal to n plus 1 by 2 to n minus 1 into h of n into e power minus g omega n in the case of anti symmetric h of n minus 1 by 2 won't exist it is equal to 0 so h of omega is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of n e power minus j omega n middle term will become 0 summation n is equal to n plus 1 by 2 into n minus 1 h of n e power minus j omega n only two terms will exist and the remaining procedure is same i have to change the limits by changing the variable n to m and substitute m is equal to n minus 1 minus n then from this equation what is n n minus 1 minus n and we have to limits change we have to change the limits so if what is m if n is n plus 1 by 2 m is equal to n minus 3 by 2 if n is equal to n minus 1 then m is equal to n minus 1 minus n minus 1 it is equal to 0 so h of omega is equals to limits n is equal 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of n e power minus g omega n and changing the variable m is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of small n small n means n minus 1 minus m e power minus j omega n minus 1 minus m next change the variable here m to n then h of omega is equals to summation n is equal 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of n into e power minus j omega n plus summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 n minus 1 minus n into e power minus j omega n minus 1 minus n but now we know that for anti symmetric condition it is represented like this n is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of n e power minus j omega n plus summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 minus h of n into e power minus j omega n minus 1 e power minus j omega minus n just i have split this into two terms now take out e power minus j omega n minus 1 by 2 common then i will get e power minus j omega n into e power plus j omega n minus 1 by 2 here minus summation n is equal 0 to n minus 3 by 2 h of n e power minus j omega n minus 1 into e power minus j omega into minus n into e power j omega n minus 1 by 2 if i multiply into this terms 
this one this one gets cancelled i'll get same term this one this one gets cancelled i'll get same term so now e power minus j omega and minus 1 by 2 now take out the summation term into h of n as common after simplification i will get n minus 1 by 2 minus n minus i have to take minus j omega common in these three terms i will get n by n minus 1 by 2 minus n so this can be written as e power minus j omega n minus 1 by 2 summation n is equal 0 to n minus 3 by 2 into h of n e power j theta minus e power minus j theta this can be written as 2 j sin theta and here instead of this j i will write e power j pi by 2 and e power j pi by 2 bring this here and take out the common e power j here i will have pi by 2 here i will have omega into n minus 1 by 2 next summation n is equal 0 to n minus 3 by 2 into h of n 2 sin omega n minus 1 by 2 minus n now i want to change the limits by changing the variable n to k i will write n by 2 minus n this term as k then n is equal to n minus 1 by 2 minus k if n is 0 what is k k is equal to n minus 1 by 2 if n is equal to n minus 3 by 2 then k is equal to n minus 1 by 2 minus n minus 3 by 2 i will get n minus 1 by 2 sorry n minus 1 by 2 minus n minus 3 by 2 2n n j minus by 2 i will get only 1 now h of omega is equal to e power j pi by 2 minus omega n minus 1 by 2 summation n is equal 0 to n minus 3 by 2 2 h of n and what is n here n n minus 1 by 2 minus k 2 h of n minus 1 by 2 minus k into sin k omega now replace variable k by variable n the same expression can be written as summation n is equal 0 to n minus 3 by 2 2 h of n minus 1 by 2 minus n sin n omega so in this equation this one will become magnitude that is magnitude of h of omega and phase is nothing but this one pi by 2 minus omega n minus 1 by 2 so this is nothing but beta minus alpha omega where beta is pi by 2 and omega is equal to n minus 1 by 2 sorry alpha alpha is equal to n this is nothing but center of symmetry